Before we get into the video people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details on the giveaway are in the video description. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today guys, I bring you the latest news surrounding the game including Respawn commenting on cross-platform play, Apex Legends on Switch, why it seems Respawn have been silent since the release of Season 1 in regards to many questions people have been asking and also checking out a few more details on the next Legend Watson. Okay, so last week I spoke of New Files fan regarding Watson and her abilities. A render fan within the game file showcases something that is called an electric fence, which is a part of Watson's arsenal. While there's more info on these fences, it seems as though Watson is able to link two of these fences, creating an electric fence that only she can climb, that only Watson can climb. So it basically creates an electric fence, much like the name suggests, so it kind of makes sense as to why it's called an electric fence. Because when we first got this render and we saw this poll, a lot of people were kind of confused. But now you can link two together. Probably there's a certain radius at which you can link two together. Probably the width of a couple of doors. So you place one down, place another, and it will create maybe an invisible fence that until you walk through it, you'll get tasered, you'll get shot, you'll get fried. But this fence, it also seems that only Watson can climb over it or climb it. So I can't wait to see this in game and learn more about it. This should be fun times, people, watching those people fry. And if any more details does land on Watson, you guys know I will have you covered right here on my channel. I made a video the other day of when I think she will be released into the game along with a new event and a new weapon. If you want to check that out, you'll find it linked within the video description. Okay, so moving on, and via a recent video of, of Respawn's Drew McCoy, the project lead on Apex Legends, he's answering the community's questions on the game. The whole video can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. I mean, there isn't much in terms of news about the game besides what I'm about to cover, which, in all honesty, is just basically reinsurance on a couple of things we want to see. First thing being cross-platform play. So although Drew doesn't confirm it's coming, he states it's something they are very seriously working towards making happen. As he understands us as players and as a community, we have many players and friends on other platforms that we'd like to play with. So although he doesn't mention any specifics, he does confirm they are aware of the fact we want to see this happen. Also, uh, Apex Legends on Switch. He reassures he hears the Nintendo community as people want to see this on Switch. He states he has nothing to mention, but states that Respawn team are working on many, many things. So basically stay tuned for updates. Now I have a Switch. I honestly don't see myself playing Apex Legends on it, but hey, I guess there's many people out there that would. So hopefully for your guys sake, we see this happen. I mean, if Fortnite can run on this, I'm pretty sure Apex Legends can run on it too. Okay, so moving on, and in reality, since Season 1 kicked off, Respawn have been a little silent on the future in regards to new content. And to be honest, I ain't surprised that they've just released Season 1 and the Battle Pass. Well, I wouldn't say just released, I'd probably say a month, uh, month and a bit, but they are bound to be a little quiet. But because the Season Pass didn't live up to expectations many had, people were left having many questions relatively quickly. Questions on things such as new skins, as many were not introduced with Season 1, in fact were any introduced, I don't think they were. New game modes, new features, new weapons, many many other things. I mean if you go through Reddit you'll see there's so many people upset with uh, the Battle Pass and the fact that Season 1 really didn't introduce anything new in reality. And it's the same if you go through Facebook, if you go through Twitter, if you go through YouTube, a lot of people are unhappy. Now Respawn Dev a few days back replied to a post on the issues many are having and he stated the following. To answer the first question, because the artists that make the skins and the operations folks who update the store don't implement gameplay, nor are they in charge of game direction. As for anything else, there's far too much there to answer individually, and a lot of it I'm not at liberty to answer. The best answer I can give you is, we will continue to support and improve the game to the best of our ability. Unfortunately, there are far more things for us to spend our development time on than there is time, so we have to prioritise. In the end, that's going to leave someone unhappy because what they feel is important isn't prioritised as highly as they think it should be. That's just reality and we can't make everyone happy. As to why I don't give specific answers about unannounced or requested features like alternate modes, far too often it's unwise to do so. Just mentioning this kind of stuff 
gets taken as a promise. The timeline starts the moment it's mentioned, and everyone has a different expectation of what's a responsible timeline, and many people heavily underestimate what is required. I'll give you my somewhat clinical take on how this stuff tends to go. If I were to say yes, Feature X will come to the game someday, aside from instantly becoming a promise, which we are now obligated to add, it would likely get picked up by blogs and gaming news sites, posted as Respawn says X is coming to Apex, and then depending on how those articles are written, they're going to set expectations incorrectly for a lot of people. Eventually people will talk about how Respawn announced X ages ago, saying that it's taken too long, or speculating about why it's been delayed. A lot of this can be helpful by careful wordsmithing. But even that can be taken out of context, or misquoted like a bad game of telephone, leading to the same issues, so I'll leave that to those whose job it is, and post what I can, when I can, in my free time, hello Sunday afternoon. And after reading what he said people, I fully understand his post, and another thing to mention in regards to his post on Apex Legends, his reason is not to disclose the future to avoid expectations is actually what allowed Apex Legends to explode in the first place, under promise over deliver. I feel they 100% learned a load from season 1. And as I've stated in the past, most of the season 1 content we had was already made content. I don't think they thought the game would blow up the way it did. But it did, and when season 1 arrived, many of us were left a little underwhelmed. I don't think that will happen with future content. And like I said, he doesn't want to balloon expectations on the future because many of things get taken way out of context, and the hopes of people are shattered when said things actually become into play, and they ain't what was overhyped on silly news sites. Which takes the smallest of details and blows them up into 3,000 word news articles. So I truly understand his point, and I actually think it's better for the game going forward. Yes, many things about them being silent aren't great, but in terms of what we want and what we want to see from the game going forward, all because they ain't dropping details on new things to come does not mean they ain't coming. I believe, and like I said, I made an entire video on this point and what is coming, I believe, on April 30th, not long away. That video is linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. I'd expect a new legend, a new weapon, and possibly a new mode. But hey, my message to you guys would be, just be a little patient. Respawn really haven't had a game explode like this before. I guarantee you guys we will get some good shit soon. And just because this Respawn dev has replied to a post saying he doesn't want to balloon expectations because obviously, like he says, once these get out into the public eye, people do overhype things and blow them out of proportion. And when content does drop, it leaves people underwhelmed. I mean, season one, you could argue, wasn't blown out of proportion. We didn't know really anything on it. But when it did land, it didn't live up to expectations. But like I said, I believe that's because season one was mostly already made content. They didn't believe the game would explode the way it did. But I guarantee you guys, season two, when that drops, and the lead up to season two, which I speak about in my video, which is linked within the video description, I think will be great times for Apex of Legends. So just be patient, guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.